Hey guys, what's up and welcome. It's Matthew here, the designer and developer, the hybrid, the best of both worlds, and the greatest of all time from South Africa. We are continuing with our Shed CN master class. Now we are on the alert dialogue. Okay, let's just check what an alert dialogue is. Okay, as you can see, guys, this is an alert dialogue. Very simple, right? You just uh, click and something uh, pop up. Obviously, this is a simple tutorial. We can just follow this copy and paste and then we are done and it will show up. But I don't think that will give you uh, more value on um, Shed CN itself and also how to use it. So here at Coded Design, we are going to take it a step further. So how are we going to do that? What we are going to do, we are going to design this component in such a way that it becomes reusable and some sort of so that we can it and contribute on creating a clean and a scalable code. For instance, instead of this becoming a modal dialogue that you can use like this um, or um, an alert that you can use like this, what we are going to do, we are going to make this name dynamic, this content dynamic. Um, these buttons for now, we are going to leave them as they are. So what does that mean? This means that whenever you want to use this, okay, you can just use the same code, but just change these props and change this content okay so without wasting time let's just jump straight into it what's the next step from here we just need to follow exactly what shed cn is telling us okay we just copy this on npm and then we go to our terminal and then we paste this i don't know why it's like this but let's press enter and see and then this is supposed to appear on our list of shed cn ui components okay shared cn ui components somewhere here okay it's going to be an alert dialog box and then in the meantime um let's just copy whatever that we have to copy so as you can see guys the next step is to copy this so we have to create our own um what can i say our own alert dialog okay so this is our folder for our own component so we just type my okay my alert dialogue okay as you can see guys dot tsx and then we are going to use um the the snippet rfce okay and then we are going to import everything that shed cn is asking us to import as you can see guys we can just click save and then what we are going to do we are going to go back and we are going to copy this code as it is as you can see this is a bit of a heavy code okay and then what we want to do, we want to copy this and let's just paste it maybe here as it is, okay? Okay, as you can see guys, cool beans, everything work. So if we were just like um, beginners, we were going to take this as it is, change here and create whatever that we want. What if maybe we want to create another component similar to this one? We were going to create a new component, copy and paste all of this code then change this this is what we are going to change and do it differently but before that let's just import this um these components in our main page and see how it looks like okay um as you can see don't mind about this i'm just rendering this conditionally okay so let's just go here import this as a self-closing tag and then we need to I'm going to press control on windows and space and then i can import this and then click save let's go back and check what's there guys okay as you can see here is open when we click here this pops up okay as you can see what we can do from here now we can go back to my alert dialog and then we can type here coded design okay and then when you click here okay let's say are you okay are you sure you want to subscribe okay obviously i'm hoping that your answer to this question is 100 percent or absolutely okay so are you sure you want to subscribe okay let's just go back and see how it looks like the now coded design is an alert and then are you sure you want to subscribe okay click OK and it disappears okay so if we want we can just uh, type here I have already subscribed okay 
okay hoping that you already subscribed okay so let's check here as you can see guys so if we want we might stick to this whenever we want to create a new one we can always copy this code but this is not how we want to do things we need to um, make this some sort of a reusable component so what we can do we can receive some props here remember we're using typescript so we can just say this is a title uh, we can just make small letters for simplicity okay we're going to receive a title and a content okay now we need to type these okay so in terms of the title it's going to be a string it's guaranteed but in terms of the content guys let's not make it a string because as much as here it looks like this is a string we are going to have um sorry um here okay as much as it looks like this content okay it's going to always be a string okay it might be something else okay you might want to put a form here or a button okay i'm going to show you that later okay so what we are going to do instead of putting a string here okay we are going to put this alert okay so i'm going to show you that flexibility so let's make this um uh content let's make this content a react dot react node okay so that it can accommodate a lot of things okay as you can see now if we want we can pass a string here if we want also we can pass another react component so let's just quickly test this guys let's take this title and change this correct design and open some block of code and then we put the title here and then let's copy the content the content here and then obviously typescript is telling us that we didn't pass the props here now um the props here in terms of title okay it's going to be coded ui okay if you might be asking yourself what is coded ui coded ui it's my other design uh, channel where i teach people how to use figma I will suggest that you try the, the channel because Figma is a very important skill, more especially if you are a beginner. You are going to work in a company that wants to save money. So it maybe they don't have funds for paying a designer and a developer. If you come and say, Matthew has taught me both of the skill, I am able to work on Figma and become a developer as well. Maybe you might be preferable and you might land a job. So in terms of the content, for now, let's type um let's type matthew okay matthew and then let's go back and see now as you can see guys this is dynamic this is uh this is matthew and i have already subscribed is is this what i wrote there let's just double check guys i think i'm missing something on my alert uh, let is this a let a lot of things are going wrong here let's first fix that okay my alert dialog okay cool uh, not my alert my alert dialog okay let's change this first okay number two let's see i've got a title and i have put a title on trigger this is a problem okay let's just go back here Okay, the trigger must be correct design okay i think the title is supposed to be here my mistake guys okay the title is supposed to be here and the content is supposed to be here on i have already subscribed okay okay cool now let's see i received this i received this let's check here what's going on what is this guy complaining about my alert dialog is not defined obviously let's import it okay let's see check here um as you can see here we are not importing the alert dialog box let's check here guys okay let's i'll import it again is not defined okay cool obviously that's my mistake let's go back to my alert dialog box my apologies about this guys okay as you can see this is still not what we are looking for now it's my alert 
okay let's export it as my alert okay and then let's go back here and check press control and press space now we've got my alert dialog box let's go back and check let's click here as you can see now we've got coded ui and we've got matthew this is interesting okay so meaning that now let's say now we want another component okay that will do the same thing but for coded design okay as you can see now the code is starting to be reusable okay just like that now we've got another trigger which has got coded with the wrong spelling coded design and reusable okay as you can see guys so that means we are reusing the code okay now as you can see this is coded design this is coded ui but the trigger is the same okay meaning that we also need to put a trigger okay we need to supply a trigger okay so let's see what we can do where is our main page that means here we need to supply a trigger as well cool let's just go back here and type trigger okay let's just copy this content copy and paste because trigger is going to be the same type as that one okay let's just change this to trigger okay as you can see now we can take this trigger and substitute it with this one okay that means here we must put a trigger okay now um let's say the trigger will be the first one it's coded ui and the second one it's coded design or we can save where is that design the wrong spelling right as you can see guys we've got um coded ui and we've got coded design okay coded design as you can see now um now that we've got this flexibility check here guys so we cannot only pass strings here these strings we can also pass another components this is how flexible this is so let's make an experiment on that on the other one let's pass the accordion on coded um coded what on coded ui let's pass a trigger no no the content okay the content of coded ui must be an accordion okay no 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 this is title my apologies okay the content of coded ui must be an accordion and the content of coded design must be an alert okay must be an alert let's come back here let's click save and let's go back and see okay as you can see guys we just have an accordion so i think this is the best way in which you can think about shared cn and also making like the most out of our shared cn if you might want to know more about me i am matthew singati the designer and developer from south africa i've got a 10-hour coaching course where i teach you exactly what you want to know we engage one-on-one -on -one and i answer your specific question things that you are struggling at um, with at this point in time if you might be interested you can click on the discovery call give me your name and email and then you can have a one-on-one -on -one hour free with me just to check if i can take you somewhere don't forget to just ask support if you like what you see you can support the channel on buy me a coffee i've got another channel which is coded ui where i teach people the user interface using figma as you can see most of the courses that i teach here i am also coding them on coded ui thank you so much see you on the next one